everything. I don't really taste the celery though. <laughs> Fort Hood's getting ready to change their name, and some people are saying that it should be named after Vanessa Gian. What do you guys think? There shouldn't be any sound, but I keep hearing the sound and it's freaking me out. So if it like, if it made a sound now and I'm standing here, I can, you know, see where it is. But as I'm talking to you, I don't, I don't see, I don't hear anything. Okay, well, let me finish my, my thing. Anyway, so I have, I got some beef, but out. All right. Anyway, I got some baby spinach. I don't know why it's, it's baby spinach instead of big boy adult spinach. And I have my boterello. Bertoli, I don't know what the hell I was talking about. This shit called Bertel Bertoli Alfredo sauce. So we're gonna make chicken Alfredo. And then I'm gonna also make some soup, a chicken potato bacon soup. I'm, I'm gonna just throw some shit in there. I, didn't, I don't think we have enough cheese to do the bacon cheddar. Shit so uh, bacon cheddar. Just say bacon cheddar. You didn't say bacon cheddar. There you go, bacon cheddar. Shit. My lips white, tell me. All right, Chief, I see you looking, trying to whiten up. I was drinking that coffee, man. You see, you making my, my, my freaking teeth dark. I don't like that. I'm already dark as it is. Damn, teeth can be dark too. <laughs> I'm laugh. Don't that, that. I ain't say you could laugh. That's not funny. I can laugh at myself. I can talk about myself. You rock. HB, we got some stallion. Where's my, where's my celery? Celery, celery, dropping stuff. So I was talking to somebody the other day and they was like, you know what, Des? I gotta eat more organic food. And I said, how you know your food's organic? He said, because they got organic on it. And like he said, like a smart ass, like duh, dumb ass. It got organic. I'm like, so how do you know it's organic? Because it says organic on it. You can put some non-organic, organic in the bag. Hold up. You can put some 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 vegetables or something that, that that's regular organic. Hold up, it's organic in a in a bag that says organic, and you would never know. You don't you don't be there cooking it or see how they put their stuff or see how they cook their meat or see how they cook uh, feed they they cows or their chickens or their birds or the. I made it up. I was, I was going, I was on the road. Alright, so Zykea's at school right now. And the kids, the babies, the big, the kids are at grandma's house. I mean, I had the house to myself. I had the house to myself. I got some extra oil. I'm gonna try out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta treat yourself, baby. Subway has the best broccoli and cheese. I, I'm gonna try to show you guys what I'm making as I make it, but trust me, it's amazing. And action. All right, so the pan is on. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in here. Not a lot, just a little bit. A little bit more than that. All right, so my vegetables, I think my vegetables are still over there. My meat is here. Oh, I didn't take the uh, the camera, but the mic came with me. I, ain't that nice? Like that. I did a video um, about my new wireless mic. That's what I'm talking on right now. So even though the camera's here, you know, it's here. You can still hear me like the, you know, like, just like I'm speaking right here, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, so I have my chicken out right here. You wash my hands. I always wash your hands, guys. I, I, I wash my hands like four or five times uh, throughout or more depending. I also have my little, my little rags right here. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. I usually carry them right here. All right, so as you can already hear, uh, the pan is ready and I like that. Grabbing the onions and the peppers. Okay. Right. I'm gonna try something. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna add some chicken, some chicken thighs, not chicken breasts. We're gonna add another. All right, we're gonna move on to our green peppers. Well, not just green peppers, but all the peppers. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get into those. Excuse me. Onions, you've already had your chance, but you know you're gonna get some more. Might be ready for a flip with my. And, uh, let me take it off. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. No tongs at. No more tongs at. mic back on man look at this i done made this big ass mess on accident another reason why i like having my damn hands free i'm pretty sure my hands were free but whatever you probably not gonna see this on uh <laughs> most i ain't never seen this on no cooking channel so hey welcome to my channel i don't like to have a messy kitchen and I don't like when the missus is upset that I have a messy kitchen. So, therefore, I must clean as I go. And she swept today, so she's going to be pissed. So, she'll never know. Look at that. That's, that's half of the damn onions right there. Anyway, so it seems that I was talking to myself the whole time. You guys didn't see me chop up the, the vegetables. It wasn't recording. I was talking and didn't know that it wasn't recording. It's so embarrassing and it's annoying, but oh well. So we're chopping up vegetables. We're almost done. No biggie. You didn't really miss anything. You've seen chopped up vegetables before. The only thing I did was I put the microphone like close to it to see if we could make a sound. I thought that would have been cool. And we can still try it. I think all I did was really mess up my my camera. I got it dirty. Let's see if it's out. So we'll see uh, if I make it sound. I said all I did was get my dang thing dirty. Both. Got the potatoes. They're here in a second. I'll cut those and peel those. All right, you put in this. Boom. Nice. Look at that. So when I thought, when I heard chicken thighs, I expected it to have a bone in it. But heck no. That shit is right there. And I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's juicier than chicken breast. But good gracious, look at this. It's practically falling apart and we're not even done yet we, we're still gonna throw it in the pot with a whole bunch of vegetables with some broccoli we're gonna save the broccoli for last because people don't like uh, soggy broccoli but uh, we're gonna do the dang thing this is really great I love the colors I love the vegetables 
everything's going good this is an easy meal i like the way it looks it don't just smell great it looks great i'll put a little bit of salt on there hey, it's going in chicken broth it's good you don't need a whole bunch i'll uh, put a little bit of pepper on there all right boom pow we're gonna throw oh, that's good. my bad we're gonna pour season on it just a little bit just Bow, 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 grill something like that. We take our whole tray and we're gonna actually put it in the soup. Let me change camera angle so you can see when I do it. And we're gonna put it in our pot. Okay. We're gonna let it do its thing. The don't worry about the uh, the peppers being large. I mean, you can still cut them smaller if you want, but they're gonna shrivel up and be small. And they're gonna be so tender that you won't even taste them. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? I like, but me personally, I love vegetables. I love the onions, I love the peppers. The more the merrier. Saute mine, please. I like when they be caramel. I don't usually get my onions and vegetables caramel like they do at the restaurant, but I would like to. <laughs> I try, I try. So we're gonna let this cook for a while. Alright. Gotcha. Gotta clean this shit up. Oh, we making a mess. She'll never know. She'll never know. She'll never know. I got blood. I got blood on everything. She's gonna know. Beat that Dez. Alright, cool down, baby. Cool down, cool down. I'm sorry. I'll get you in a second. Hey, the chicken is already falling apart. That's why I said it's doing great already. Hope you can hear me over this water. Let me clean it. I'm almost done. All right, so that looked pretty good. There's actually some actually some blood on the paper towel. I, I can't get that off. That's just, that is what it is. I got this crazy blood at uh, on Amazon. It's like really, it looks really like a pretty real. It's pretty cool for pranks. I don't know, it's cool. I, uh, I did a video. I walked in H-E-B with a bloody shirt. A white, it was a white shirt. Uh, you guys, if you see me, I put the video up, but they kept they kept taking it down. But it was me. I had blood on me. I, I act like I got cut or something like that. I think you guys, if you watch me, remember that. If you follow me on Instagram, they be having the craziest stuff up on Instagram or social media. But like, take my stuff down. I'm like, really? You let that shit slide, but take my stuff down? All right. So where are you now? We have uh, our potatoes. I rinsed them. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting these in squares. You want closer? Let's put our potatoes out. Getting ready to cut them. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna peel these. The other ones I I don't know. I I made the other ones and they didn't come out good. And I was really mad at myself. Then you know, hold, 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 pause, pause, pause. They were great. They came out they came out phenomenal. But the only the only comment was that the the skin cut it came off. It was too much skin. So. I'll cut this skin off. I'll cut this skin off if it's the last thing I do. Oh, I ain't got to yell now. I'm sorry, guys. I don't see it. I don't see ya. Probably want one of the other model Pia. Give that fat booty a smack. So here we go right here. So we're going to shave our, our potatoes. Like I said, I really don't want to, but like I said, I want them to be fire. Anytime I make something, like the best part of cooking, in my opinion, is the opinions of others. Subway has the best broccoli and cheese. Oh my gosh, Dad, this is so good. Mm, oh wow, Mr. Dad, this is great. I like my dad makes it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I look forward to that. And I have to make sure everything I make is, I always want that same reaction. Fire, Dad. Count some more? Count seconds? Oh, heck yeah. Yes, you may, son. Do your thing. Yes. Have thirds. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I, I make it for you guys. So when they don't eat my stuff, I feel offended. All right, let's get right there. We'll leave it right there. We'll talk about that right there. All right, so I think we got, Dad's just speed through this right here. Or if you don't mind, uh, if you guys don't want mommy talking, I'll keep on shaving. This is a small, funny looking shape one. But you know, should we all need love? So today is what is it? February the 18th or 19th? 18th? Oh Lord, today is February the 23rd. Uh, it's supposed to be coming a snowstorm. It's already pretty cold today. I had on the fleece and the the fleece. Oh, I'm still wearing the fleece. Hat. I'm still wearing the fleece hat, but I actually had like the fleece top on today. And I usually don't wear that because, like, you know, you're supposed to be a man and like, you know, be warm. But like, you know what? If I'm cold, I'm cold. I'm not funny. Like, try to tough it out and shit. 
Like for what? Fuck that. For what? Hey, I remember one time, I, I think we were joking. We were like, look at this pansy over here wearing a jacket, right? Because somebody wore a, wore a jacket, uh, a field jacket, whatever, uh, to stay warm. And like, people start joking him and shit. Like, look at this, look at this dude. But I'm like, yo, he's warm. You know, he's warm. We're, we're out here, we're freezing with nothing on he was the smart one that had his you know put something on so shit i went upstairs oh yeah i know where we were we were in virginia we were uh what's that place called out there we used to do training at it was a uh, picket fort picket was it was the fort picket oh that's like it when she goes I, I think it was fort picket though fort picket and we would go out there and train for like two weeks it was pretty fun actually it was like it was like camping like we did uh we would go to the range and we would do stuff like that and then you know uh we would go out in the woods and do a little well it, it wasn't camping but that's what the fuck it was it was fun um but you know stuff like that the army isn't all bad i know i jumped on that but the army is not all bad i, I hate what happened to that soldier <sighs> i think even saying her name is like controversial like people try to like shy away from it i'm like if that was my if that was my daughter i would want her name to be spoken about we would not forget and then also fort hood is getting ready to do their name change did you guys know that they're getting ready to change their name i guess whoever uh hood whoever he was i don't know his name general hood was a confederate or some shit so they get ready to change it um but i'm sure bragg and all them other ones camel I i'm pretty sure camel's a race camel suit i don't know but uh <laughs> fort hood is getting ready to change their name what do you guys think Arguments for and against changing the name of fort hood has brought that possibility one step closer to reality Tomorrow, Fort Hood is meeting with members of a naming commission to discuss changing the name of the installation. This is a formal hearing for, to allow for community input regarding the renaming of the base. Uh, and uh, they will be hearing not only from LULAC, uh, but also from other uh, community organizations, as well as mayors from some of the surrounding towns and Colleen itself. LULAC's hope to get one step closer to selecting a new name like Roy Benavidez. But people like retired Army veteran John Valentine say the name should stay because it's part of who they are and the brothers they lost. But for us, that takes away part of who we were and part of who we were, who we were with when those things, tragic things happen in our life. Though he is against it, he fully understands why others want to change the name. If we change the name, let's change the name the right way. Is all I'm hoping for is they do it the right way. They involve our community. Those groups you talked about, those minority groups, and even our regular groups of people, just involve us in the change because it impacts us more than it's going to impact anybody. I was going to actually talk about it later. Uh, depending on how I do this video, you may or might not, you may or may not hear it here. I don't think anything's wrong with it or inappropriate. I would love to get the, the conversation started. It's something maybe I might say for the lot alive. I really didn't want to talk about it because of where I am as, as far as my job position. I am in public affairs, you know. Uh, I would never want to make my my people or us look bad. However. I don't think anything's wrong with talking about things that have happened. It's already out there. There's nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's already out there. I'm just saying some things that I want to share from my standpoint. That's all that is. I, I started God give right or something like that or constitution. Something like that. <laughs> I'm going to have to bleep this out. So one thing I hate about long videos, I have to edit these. So I don't tell how long this video is going to be. I hope you guys like it. I never do voiceovers. I hate them. But now, you know, I feel like nobody's here. It's mad quiet. I keep saying mad. It's, it's really quiet. No distractions. This is what living alone would be like when my kids are, I guess, out or whatever. Or somebody's everybody out. So like when, when the family goes like, out somewhere, I'm like, nope, I don't wanna go, y'all go. You know, it's like sometimes you want some alone time. I like my alone time. I like to try my new oils or walk around the house naked or or cook and talk to you all. Like, look, I'm not doing anything. I got off work, as you guys see, I'm still in uniform and I got right up in here to this kitchen. I went in there, I chill for a second and I'm right back at it. This is what I do. Once I get everything settled, settled, I have to go ahead and start on the chicken and broccoli. And but then I'm gonna um, shower and I'm gonna play 2K. I don't really do a lot. You know, I'm I'm a homebody. It ain't that I don't like to go out. I do, but that shit costs a lot of money. And we got four kids. Well, I have four kids. And all that going out shit, that's just overrated. And I'm a, I'm a dope cook. Seriously, like now I'm not tooting myself, but I am too tooting myself almost done here guys almost done. that's why i said i was gonna fast forward still not sure but i like to talk so this is really equivalent to me talking on the live like i said hey guys i'm going to uh get off here man i can talk for hours i actually want a job as a professor well not a professor i mean as a job as an instructor or something where i can i can like you know 
run my mouth. My only issue is that I stutter sometimes. I get a little bit excited. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm getting off subject. All right, let me clean this mess up. Yeah, but I get um, I get a little off. Uh, I get a little excited and off, off topic, like, like I just did right there. But not really. But I get excited and I start stuttering. And I don't want to be in front of people and stutter. That shit is so embarrassing. Uh, I'm big. I'm 6'4". I'm black. It doesn't look very attractive or strong, you know, when you fucking can't talk or pronunciate yourself or articulate yourself in front of a crowd. So I have to do certain things to prepare for that. Like when I speak in front of people at work, you know, I, I have to prepare for that. I'm, I'm feeling some type of certain way. It's it's an aggressive type of feeling for me, I guess it is for you. I don't know how to feel, but I'm aggressive. It's like I own it. That time, that time is for me and you will listen. And when I have that time, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's you know, I, I take it serious. I'll take it seriously. Seriously. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move on to our carrots. Oh, you, all right, first we can cut these now. I didn't cut them any anywhere, as you can see. I just want them to be small. A little bit of uh, red is is okay. Nobody's going to die. About a little bit. I don't know if people don't like skin. Ew, once you cut it all off, it's not that much. It's very small. Okay? Very small. I would say cut them however you want to do them. I like potatoes. Like I said, uh, we don't want it to be mashed potato, but we want it to be, you know, predominantly potato, okay? The water's already hot. It's hot as hell. All right, so over the boiling, boiling is smelling very good. Very good. It's smelling very good. So when we put our potatoes in, we're gonna let it cook for about, let's say maybe five, 10 minutes, right? And then we're gonna throw in some celery. Cause what you don't want to do, which I had to learn the hard way, you don't want your veggies to overcook because they become mushy. Now you want them to be soft. Now potatoes take a long time to cook because they're they're solid. They're they're starches. You know they're firm. So I said five minutes like an idiot. Don't do five minutes. You're gonna need a little bit more than five minutes. I you know what I think I said put them in there five uh, for about five ten minutes and then add your celery is what I said. Okay, I I, I just want to make sure that's you know that you didn't think that I meant that. It's gonna take a while for the I'm about to cook. Right, let me go ahead and cut. See, I start talking. And then I get, you know, I lose focus. But I do enjoy talking to you all. I actually want to start doing a podcast now or just something to where I can just stay way here, do what I'm doing and talk to you guys without having to like, you know, show my face or be on or do something crazy. It can be like a cool topic like, let's say Russia, for example. I am not uh, strong with politics or anything like that, but I feel like we need to be, especially when it has to deal with me and our rights and our abilities and going to war affects everybody. I don't care how you look at it. I don't say that you should be liking it or for it or say for it or against it, but it happened. I wish that we didn't happen. I wish that we didn't have it. I'm kind of like, I said, like in my, I don't know if I said it in this video or the other video, like we don't need that shit. Like we do not need another freaking war. We just got done with Afghanistan. Afghanistan took, how long did that shit take? I went to Afghanistan twice. I went to Iraq three times. I went to Syria once. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? There's no, what are we going to war for now? But if I ain't mistaken, we've been trying to go to war with Russia for a while. Or Russia been trying to go to war with us for a while. So like something always been happening. I remember when I was stationed in Alaska, uh, there was the big panic when, um, the jets got, they flew over, the Russian jets flew over the US soil or something like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken up. Like I said, I want it hearty, it's right there. You see, it's, it's, I don't even hear it, but it's, it's still on and ready. I told you that's chim chicken thighs, it's the truth. They ain't never lied, you heard me? Them chicken thighs they ain't never lied. Chicken thighs they ain't never lied. Mmm, that's busting. Also, what I like to do, I like to have some chicken. Same way as here. I like to add it to, add it to my, my noodles with some onions. And some broccoli. Oh! That's your bust! Alright, I'm gonna cut up some more, a little bit more thinner. Some of these are cut like the, like fajitas, but we're not having fajitas tonight. That was the other night. I hope you guys watched that video. All right, we're gonna add the rest of it. Take the pot off, boom. About a bow, nice and hearty. Add that in, nice and hearty. It smells delicious, people. Gonna add some more onions into it, bow. Give it a little stir, mix it all up. Oh yeah. That's 
side of the Alright, so I said add a little bit more water. Let me fix my mic. Okay, we're back in it. I put the lid back on our pot. It's doing great. It's smelling great. Hey, uh, we're still gonna add broccoli to it, but it's gonna be at the end. Okay, I don't want to. Like I said I don't want it to be super soupy. The potatoes is gonna take a while. The chicken is already soft, but it's gonna get even softer. Now I say when you pick it up, everything is just gonna melt in your mouth. It's gonna be to die for. All right, so what's next? We're gonna cut into this celery. I mean, <laughs> celery, what's going on? We're gonna go ahead and cut into this cabbage, not celery. All right, go ahead and pan down. Go ahead and open that up. All right, cut off all that dirty stuff. All of that. All right, uh, another one. And I'm going to wash it. Now, I, I tear off the first two or three layers as you saw me cutting right there. Those just come off. They're dirty, I suppose. I just, well, I don't know. I'm real funny about my cabbage, but the first two layers come off and I put this in the trash. And, you know, it's all good because you still got green, okay? It's, still, it's not like you're, I don't really care for all that white stuff either. I like the green and you still have, a, it's like a big ass head. And you still have a good amount. It's like a helmet, yeah. And you still have a good amount, okay? So it's going to cut it up. That's why I said, and for this dish, we don't need a whole lot anyway. This is just to try it out. This is supposed to be um, a beef and broccoli. I mean, a, Jesus Christ, I can't talk to this. This is supposed to be a chicken and potato soup. Doesn't really call for cabbage, but we gonna throw it in anyway because that's her business. Shout out to Miss Brown. I forgot her name. What's her, what is her name? I love her. She is a great. Is it Tabitha? Miss Tabitha Brown. Yes, because that's her business. I seen her on Ellen. Go girl. Okay, I ain't mad at you. Our next guest has millions of followers on TikTok, and she's hosting a digital series on Ellen Tube called All Love with Tabitha Brown. Take a look. Okay, Joyce. It's time for Like So Like Tab. Now, if you want to take the advice, that's your business, okay? Now is the time I like to call a moment of zen. Close our eyes. I said close your eyes. I'm going to do it with you, okay? Come on, mac and cheese. Yes. Can I show y'all how to make it? We are all doing the very best that we can. I love seeing my black people rise up. Amen. Especially, you know what I'm saying, when it's positive thing. It's positive, you know, they ain't all on the news about, you know, some drug dealing or some crazy or some shooting or, you know, something like that. It ain't about no damn rap music, you know what I'm saying? So it's something positive and I'm all for it. So shout out to her. She got her cooking. She got her cooking uh, stuff going on too. Got her own ingredients. She's doing great on sauces. And this is the one that does not, she does not um, eat meat. She is totally vegan. And I still watch her because for one, she's very entertaining. I like her and her atmosphere and her flow and her vibe is really, really cool. And she makes me laugh. I can't just laugh watching her and listen to her. And she's really cool what she does. And even though I like meat, I love meat to death. I still try stuff because she says try it. And you know, and I taste it, I'm like, oh my goodness, you almost, you can, almost can't tell it's meat. But you can tell it ain't meat, okay? That's, that's, that, we ain't gonna get it twisted now. You know damn well it, it, it ain't no barbecue ribs. It ain't no real chicken nuggets, but it's an alternative to beef. And I'm okay with that because it, it's cool. You know, I ain't mad at it. I had some ribs one time, y'all. I had some ribs one time that'll knock your socks off, you hear me? And it was not part of no pig, and it was not part of no damn cow. It was it was tofu. I said, what? Almost lost my mind. Almost lost my mind. But it was it was really good. So it's stuff out there. I've had uh, uh what is that? Who are they? Is it Sunshine? Sunshine brand or Morning? I think it's Morning Shine. Morning Star Farms veggie chicken nuggets. I can already see it adding a good crunch and flavor to the ramen. These nuggets were thick, and I was excited to see how well it would do in the broth. Mushroom, carrots, veggie chicken nuggets. This is the ultimate bite. Morning Star Farms veggie chicken nuggets at the spot. Morning Shine has some really good products. Um, they don't use meat. They're 
Is it plant-based? But they're delicious. Now they're good. My grandma, my grandma put me on those. Shout out to my grandma. Because, uh, you know, she eats meat now. I don't know what the hell. Anyway, but they were great. They're really good. If you guys don't like meat, if you want to try, and my camera's falling. If you want to try an alternative to meat and still have a good taste, morning, morning shine, morning star. Come on here. Let's uh, do these things. As long as hell. Oh damn, sis. So I hope this stuff is good. I hope they like it. I hope it doesn't take away from, you know, what it is. It's just a little bit of, like I said, I didn't put a lot. I'm not even sure if they're going to like it. I know for a fact that my baby loves, loves, loves cabbage. So I'm not going to OD it because the the basis of this is supposed to be, as like I said before. Oh, it smell. I can't get over the smell. Where my spoon at? Hello? Hold on, y'all. I don't lost this under all this mess. Hey, this is why I said I got to clean up. This is why I said I got to clean up as I go. Oh, look at all this. I couldn't find my spoon because it was under all this trash. So after I put that on, I got to clean up. All right, put that on. Okay, let me start. First, let's start. Do you want to look at it as I start? Yeah. When I say the smell is immaculate. Mm. I might get some booty. Sorry. My, this is gonna be good. This is probably like one of the best menus, the best I've ever made. And this was, this was on the fly, kind of. Like, we talked about it, but like, obviously, we don't know how it's gonna come out. Now, this is for tomorrow, guys. Just let me say, this is gonna cook all night. And really what I'm gonna do is put it in the slow cooker. That's probably what I should've did, but it's gonna be on there all night. I'm not gonna rush that. It's gonna cook down. I'm gonna put a little bit of, of uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, to make it a little bit of thick. There you go, cornstarch. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken up a little bit. And uh, it's gonna be fire, ladies and gentlemen. I don't play no game. I ain't here to play no game. But I, I don't want it too thick. I still want it to be like. All right, here go our chives. Nice. All right, guys. So now. Hmm. Oh, that, that'll wake you up. All right, I'm gonna. All right, so we're gonna add some chives little bit give it some i'll say it already has onion but as you do know that ch uh, chives have a different uh taste a different they're not onions they're in the onion family and they still stink but <laughs> they are not <laughs> but they're not onions there are, is a difference mm. Mm, smell it you smell it oh, good all right you guys so i think that's it for this one I'm going to uh, cut it down. My camera's getting, my phone's getting ready to die. And I still gotta make the chicken alfredo. The chicken alfredo won't take me long, all right? It's really like four steps to that. You make your chicken, you can either bake it or put it on the stove. I put mine on the stove, all right? You boil your pasta. All right, so here we are right here. So like I said, simple and easy. You know, already seen you make the chicken. It's too damn easy. You get your chicken, boom. You cook it, all right? Then you take your noodles, all right? You boil it, all right? Get your sauce ready, all right? Whatever sauce you choose, make sure it's Alfredo sauce. If you that advanced, if you can make your own Alfredo sauce, I would do so. I love making my own Alfredo sauce. I just didn't feel like doing it today. Okay, so I bought the, I bought the jar kind. All right, so go ahead and you uh, you put your, your cooked chicken, okay, and you mix it with your pasta and you mix it with your sauce, all right? Then you add in your broccoli and just let it sit, okay? It doesn't take long at all for your broccoli to cook. Now, I know from my personal experiences, when I've been doing like beef and broccoli, what my biggest complaint was like, and this is for myself and other people, the broccoli was like a little bit too mushy. You know what I'm saying? People like it uh, like firm, that firm texture. So the, depending on how you like it, that's the way you cook it. All right, y'all, I'm out. Let me know what you guys think. I will show you a, okay, well, I, I won't end it now. I'll say later because this is gonna be take a while and when I pull it off when it's done I'll show you so
but not least, I'm going to add in some Velveeta cheese. I honestly don't feel like it needs it. I think what it has going on right now is pretty good. All right, now this is the finished product. Okay. That's the Alfredo. I think it looks scrumptious. I'm just, everybody loved it. I like when they ask for seconds. Yes, I had seconds too. And then this is the the ch the, the cheddar chicken potato soup. I don't know why you don't add the carrots in there and the celery. I, I guess they didn't, they didn't make the cut, but um, it's in there. It's pretty good. So this will last us for uh, the rest of the week. Like I said, with the winter storm coming, everything is perfect time to have a good soup. I really pan. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. Uh, before I forget, is that a good angle? It looks like it's crooked. Before I forget, before I forget, I want to add a little bit of garlic. We don't have much left anyway. I should have got some more while I was at it. So good. We're gonna add some some garlic. I'm not gonna tell you how much because I don't do that measuring stuff. I just put a little bit of shake in there and uh, that's good. So that little splash. That little. Uh, I don't know how to measure that. But yeah, it's gonna be really, really nice. Yeah. I will say maybe add a little bit more water. Like I said, you want all this to cook down. All right, you still want it to be soupy, but not mushy. Does that make sense? Say it with me, say soupy, but not mushy. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, more, a little bit more pepper. Not a whole lot. I like, you know what I do? I like to hit a little crackle, that's all that is. All right, that's good. I need to get some more. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning right here. Bada boom, bada boom. Hit it off with some salt. Ow, all right, all right. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it sit, all right? We're gonna sit, put that lid on it and just let it do its thing. Now what we can do is go over here, finish cutting our chicken. We're gonna cut up the rest of the cabbage and then we're gonna start on our chicken alfredo. There it is, good. Like I said, so far it looks great. I get better and better each time I do this. This meal is really easy, it's not hard. It's best if you prep your stuff and you already have it out, but other than that, it's really easy. Your ingredients, do them how you like, mix and match. I put sausage in here, I don't know if I said it. I think I showed it right, I cut it up. Um, you really can't see them there. They're small, you know. Delicioso. Most people probably don't put sausages in the Alfredo. Um, they give it some a different flavor is great. Go ham or go sausage. I don't know anything. Anyway, hey, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. I'm gonna have some soup too. I should have, I should have, I should have bought some soup, huh? We're gonna have some soup too. Come on. Okay, we're gonna try our soup. I'm not really a soup maker, but the way it was smelling and like the way I've been cooking, like I just knew it was gonna be good. With the ingredients, it was an it was a it was an easy easy win. Potatoes, soup, carrots, broth, onions, peppers, chicken. I mean, I knew it was gonna be good. Here we go. Mm. So the cheese is not overbearing. It's really good. The potatoes melt in your mouth. I taste the carrots. I mean, the um, I, I didn't get no carrots in that one actually. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, goodness. I love when they get cold. It's definitely time. 
to make some soup. This is great, guys. Um, so so I, I will add this. An alternative is to put it in the slow cooker. The slow cooker does the same thing. Like say you go to work, you can put it in there either the night before or in the morning, come home, and it's done. Right. I didn't mind. This, this took about four hours, about three or four hours. So it was bad. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's banging. It's banging. And it, it's what I was talking about how you'll get like everything. Look how big that is. Everything. I don't really taste the celery though. Mm. 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 There it is. There it is. Oh, man. Mm. You guys definitely gotta try that. If you guys try this, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I had a great time with this. I said to be honest, it was supposed to be it was supposed to be a chicken. No, it was supposed to be a cheddar broccoli and bacon soup. Subway has the best broccoli and cheese. But I put I put a little twist to it. I went crazy. I just started putting stuff in there. You can't even taste the cabbage, and I, I figured that much. But it came out good. So give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what else you guys want me to make in the future. I've been looking at some things, probably some oxtails, um, maybe some jerk chicken. Let me know. Comment down below.